Can I please get a waffle? Hi guys, been a minute. Like always, I'm trying to get better about posting, but today I have a different kind of video. I downloaded the app Cameo where you can, you know, find different celebrities. And of course, for me, it was Broadway celebrities. And you could send them a little bit of money, whatever they require, and they will send you back like a birthday message or an anniversary message or something cute like that. But I thought, why not do something different? If you haven't already, big thumbs up. Go ahead and comment something in the comment section. I read all of my comments, believe it or not. And I think you guys are hilarious. I love your recommendations for songs. Sometimes I'll look at them and be like, girl, what makes you think I can do that song? But other than that, totally awesome. Also, let me just clarify, I thought I thought of this idea. I woke up and said, wow, I have this really brilliant, great idea. But turns out I didn't think of it. I actually watched it on Amy Lovett's channel. She's this UK theater nerd, just like me, and she's amazing. I love her videos. I don't know why I didn't think, duh, you're not that original. You didn't come up with that. But I'm gonna post her like link or something down below so you guys can check out her videos too. I'm sure you know who she is because she's loving very legend legendary legendary so i went on cameo and got a few broadway stars and was like hey instead of a birthday message or an anniversary message could you please 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 watch my video i mean they're all in beetlejuice if i didn't mention that before they're all in the show they're all stars of the show they're og cast members and i was wondering if they would watch my little cover my little parody or whatever and let me know what they think and honestly it was kind of open like it wasn't oh tell me great things about myself it was like let me know what you think was the tea what's going on if they were like i hate it I would still post it, not gonna lie. I would still, you know, show you guys. So for this video, you have to have watched my Beetlejuice video. It's the one where I'm completely blue. I'm like this, crap, I'm like breaking stuff. Crap. Okay, I can't do that. But I'm like this and I'm blue and I'm seeing what I know now from the show. And yeah, first person up, Jill Abramovitz. Those of you who don't know, she played as Juno. She played as, wow, I really should have done my research before I made this video. Like, okay, bear with me, you know in the song, Deo. She's like, there's a guy that, oh my God, this is so terrible. But there's a guy there that they're trying to impress and he brought his fiance. This is so sad because this is like one of the funniest moments of the show and I don't remember what her name was or if they even said what her name was, but Jill was also her. And then also she was in this other song, Tap Dancing. I don't know, I saw the show in New York. I thought Jill was so funny and I found her on Cameo. And this is what she had to say after watching my video. Hi Lily, that was so good. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. I really had no idea what to expect. And at first I was like, okay, she's a great singer. She's a great performer. Um, this makeup is fantastic. The costume and makeup like are completely on point. And then when you turned into the entire ensemble, I was like, oh, okay, she's hilarious. The recording sounded so good. So congratulations with using GarageBand. Um, congratulations on being really funny and doing all of those parts. I especially loved, ah, exploded. <laughs> um, you sounded fantastic. I was like really blown away. Also, I love how you were able to hold, like own a moment and not twitch and be awkward or fill it or anything. Like it's really hard. You were small enough for camera, but big enough for the performance and knew how to like stick a landing, like hold a moment. And I was really, really impressed with your comedy, with your acting, with your singing. Bravo, bravo lady. That was so nice, oh my gosh. Wow, okay, first of all, she's gorgeous. Eyebrows, impeccable. I don't even know if she has makeup on. She doesn't need any, she looks great. Um, Jill, if you're watching this, thank you so, so, so much. I mean, you think I'm funny? Thank you. I think I'm funny, but nobody else does. So it's, it's nice to see that somebody does. Um, when she was talking about holding a moment, that's something I worked on myself on, what? What did I say? That's something I've worked on, on myself, 
for a while like just being able to sit there and say okay don't be fidgety don't be awkward you know it's something you learn in acting classes like don't be weird um so it's nice that she said that she thought i was holding those moments that's amazing jill abramovitz watched my video y'all so our next actress is huge she's amazing she's spectacular she's a broadway legend whether you know it or not i'm sure you know carrie butler where have you seen her before well where i've seen her before was in hairspray in little shop little shop of horrors she was in mean girls now she's in beetlejuice i mean she's been in way more things than that but like we do not have time to count down her entire career and all the things that she has done because she's fantastic she was the first to respond. She was very quick about responding to. I sent her a video and that same day, not even later that day, like two hours later, she had sent me a video. Hi, Lily. I just watched your video. Wow, it was so good. I love the production value. I love, you went fall out. Like, first of all, your costume was amazing and your makeup and your hair, you looked great. You sounded great. You have a really, really great voice. I love um, all of the, like the kind of um, richness you brought to the song. And then I love the um, second part where you became all of those characters. The production value was Mwah, so good. You put so much work and effort into it. Um, really, really funny. I loved it. Um, I love that you are using this time to be so creative. Go you! Excellent job. I initially did not do these for a video. I initially just did them because like I wanted them to see me and to see that I'm making content based on them. But like, I have to document it because you guys, I feel so good right now. I love Carrie Butler. I love Carrie Butler so much. You have no idea. If I didn't mention before, she was Barbara in Beetlejuice. And when I went to go see her, she was so amazing but anyway having her watch my videos and say wow the production value the costumes even though the costumes were kind of ratchet um the makeup i did put a lot of effort into that makeup so i'm glad somebody thinks it looks nice you know but it's carrie butler it's carrie butler it's crazy it's absolutely insane i have one last video and before I go into that video, I want to say I did contact Leslie Kritzer and Rob McClure. Leslie, maybe she didn't see the request. It kind of like expired because over seven days, if they don't respond, then it just expires and the money comes into your Cameo account. And so I saw that the money came back into my account and I was like, oh no, who? And it was Leslie. So I hope she doesn't hate me. Leslie, if you're seeing this video, I think you're amazing and you're spectacular. And I hope that you see my video one day because it was based on you. But the other person who I sent it to was Rob McClure because he's funny and he's amazing. And Rob sent me back a message, but he was basically like, honey, this promotion is not free. So you can contact my people, <laughs> which is really funny. Like, I don't think any of that, I don't take it you know negatively because i get it like he's like my time is money and you're not paying me enough to watch your videos so it's all good so the last person who responded very very long video was dana steingold dana steingold is the girl scout she sent me a very very long message and i say that not in a negative way but in a way that that means so much to me I mean, so much to have someone that you've looked up to, like really acknowledge who you are and take the time to speak to you, even though they may never speak to you again. And I may be pausing throughout her video or, you know, really soaking up some things or maybe even getting emotional because like, Dana, if you're watching this, thank you. It meant everything to me, everything. Ooh, anyway, let's get into the video. Hi, hey, Lily. It's Dana Steingold. How are you? Okay, so I'm actually in Times Square. I'm actually standing at the Winter Garden, crazily enough, um, because I am about to do... I just want to pause it really quick because I don't know if anyone noticed when she moved for a second, it said Hugh Jackman and Sutton Foster. Was it Sutton Foster? 
I think it's Sutton Foster. But anyway, the Music Man has officially moved into where the Beetlejuice show was, so in the Winter Garden. Um, and that makes me feel kind of salty. Anyway, continuing on. Um, work with Broadway Cares where we deliver Thanksgiving meals, hence the mask, hence me outside. Um, so here's the thing. I watched your entire video and I just want to say first, damn, you can sing. Um, I am so excited to share a stage with you in the future when we are back on Broadway because you're on your way there. That was amazing. Also the commitment to the makeup, um, the costume, like so good. Um, I'm constantly impressed by everybody's videos uh, and the commitment the level of commitment I should say to them but you have talent um, I hope you're performing I kind of want to know what your background is in terms of like um, what you've done if you just do this for fun what your job is where are you from because you didn't tell me any of that but if you could like send me a message um, on Instagram I would really really like that because I'm super super interested in getting to know you a little bit better pausing I did DM her I was totally scared I was at my job no, I'm not performing right now. I wish I was, which is why I create these YouTube videos because like I want to perform more than anything, especially for a job. Um, and I'm going to be very transparent about it. Like if YouTube allows me to get paid, but also do things that I love, that's a dream job. There you go. So I'm working towards that, but I did DM her and I was so nervous. Oh my God. She probably read my nerves. I was like, Hey, it was like I was doing an audition. It was like, I'm 22, I'm from Atlanta, and blah, 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 and it was just so dumb. Like, I wish I could have been like, hey girl, hey, what's up? But yeah, I did DM her, she DM'd me back. I'm not gonna put our conversation though. It wasn't really anything crazy. Like, it was literally just me saying, I'm kind of discouraged because of how I look, I'm a little bit bigger, and you know, it is harder for black girls. You know, they only wanna cast one or two black people in a production, and usually it's the men, so. Anyway, all of that to say, she was just like, girl, keep going, do what you do, you'll be fine. Continuing. Um, Cause that video was super impressive. So, okay, I wanted to like it, but here's the thing. I don't actually have a YouTube account. I know, that's insane. Um, I try to stay off YouTube <laughs> because I feel like it's one of those things that I use for fun, but I, if I had an account, it would get really out of hand and I would start posting videos or like watching videos of myself and my friends and it would just go badly because then you can't help but read the comments and it's like whatever. So I try to stay off um, for my own mental health reasons and whatnot, um, but I will consider joining to like this video. Um, maybe I could repost it somewhere so that that would be like a good um, mix. But I saw that you have like over, over 2,000 views, which is insane. So congratulations. Um, Two things. One, the over 2,000 views is the likes, which is so crazy to say. Guys, we're over 48,000 views. I always said if I made it to 50,000, because I never thought it was possible, not even in my wildest dreams, like I would throw a party. But 48,000 views. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you to everyone who watched it. Thank you to the people who even disliked it because you watched it anyway. And also, I just want to say, um, if Dana Steingold, if Dana Steingold, oops, I hit play. If Dana Steingold reposts anything of mine, let alone this video, if she reposts something, y'all, I will literally die. I will pass out. I will go to heaven. I will just continuously count my blessings. I think. If Dana Steingold reposts my video, y'all go to her page right now and like, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't go to her page. Don't say anything. But Dana, if you're watching this, no pressure. But if you repost something of mine, I might go into cardiac arrest. Continuing. I also just want to say thank you so much for being such a huge fan of the show. Um, I'm so moved and grateful that people as awesome as you connect with the show and are moved by the show and connect with the story of the show because um you guys are the fabric 
of Beetlejuice. Like you are our extended family. The fan base is why we are where we are. Um, and I think there is a future for us. I know there's like this video of Alex and everyone's going crazy of him saying we're coming back. And I don't know, I have no real information. Maybe he does. But what I will say is that I do believe that uh, people love the show and there's a demand for it. And when we come back from this crazy, thing that we're going through right now that is temporary but feels super permanent um i think people are going to want to laugh again and i think that pause alex brightman you got information you know something we don't know is beetlejuice coming back because we need it to our show does that and you guys the fan base um you keep the beetlejuice gospel alive and for that i'm super grateful and if you keep doing that i promise you i think we'll be back maybe not here definitely not here because here we are, but um, but I think maybe we'll find a new home. And if not, what an amazing thing that we made people happy for a year and we could find a new home. And if it doesn't happen on Broadway, there is gonna be a tour and I'm sure there's gonna be a West End production and all these cool things. Beetlejuice is not going anywhere, whether I'm a part of it or not, um, but maybe you'll be a part of it because um, you'd be a dope dealing with Argentina. She said it, not me, but I would be a very, 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 very dope Miss Argentina slash Delia. Delia can be black. I'm gonna say it again. Delia can be black, okay? 100%. Like, why not? She already has flair. She has attitude. She has sass. And that's something that comes naturally to me, I feel. So, Delia can be black. Anyone who's out there on the Beetlejuice cast or Beetlejuice crew or Beetlejuice anything, I'm telling y'all right now, there was no reason that I wouldn't audition for that show if I was allowed to. Make me the tree in the back. Make me the cookies that the Girl Scout carries around. Make me the little snake. Make me anything. I'll do it. Continuing. Um. So yeah, I just wanted to send my love and thank you so much. And I also just want to say that this is just a weird time, but I really am hoping that we come out of this better human beings, kinder human beings, and more empathetic human beings because when you're a girl's got everything's gonna work out, right? So we will be back in the theater soon. And I am thinking about you, I'm sending you so much love. I'm so, so freaking impressed by you and your video and your vocal skills. Um, sending you love, health, joy, and please wash your hands and wear a mask, okay? Bye, happy, happy Thanksgiving. I love her. I love her so much. Oh my God. Dana, thank you. Jill, thank you. Carrie Butler, thank you. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. You didn't have to watch that video. You didn't have to share all the lovely things that you did. And it means so much to me. Wow, thank you so, 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 so much. Dana Steingold, just talking about that video right now. Amazing person. Her video was so thorough and so sweet and amazing. And she was clearly doing something at the moment. So clearly she was busy. And yet she took that time to talk to me, a random nobody. I'm super grateful. I'm super thankful. I hope you leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know. I've been thinking with all this buzz around my other Beetlejuice video, if I should make another one. Love you guys. Thank you guys. See you next time. I'm going to be better about posting. I always say that, but I'm going to try. See you.